In this video, I'm going to show you how to repair an MSD spark plug wire. So this one came apart while I was removing it from the spark plug. Uh, as you can see, uh, it came apart um, and actually couldn't even see the wire inside uh, until I trimmed it. So the first thing that you're going to do um, in order to repair this is you're just going to real carefully go around with a razor blade if you have to and cut off a bit of the insulation and then uh, this happens to be uh, the the newer connector style so um, what you're going to do is you're going to kind of spread this apart a bit um, you're going to spread down here where the uh, where the wire is going to get clamped in uh, and then you're going to go ahead and slide it into place All right, so now I'm um, just going to use a crimper. I happen to have one for um, coax cable. So I'm going to just use the RG6. To go ahead and crimp it. It's not in full. Okay. Not going anywhere, and now I need to crimp the wire. Okay, you seem to focus. It has been. All right, so as you can see, got it crimped to the insulation, and then I have it crimped, uh, the connector to the wire. It's still a little, a little out of whack, but not too terribly. Okay, now that we've got it uh, crimped to the insulator and uh, crimped to the wire, we're going to go ahead and use a multimeter to test the resistance. So we got it set in the lowest mode. And we're getting about 27. All right, so I'm going to test one of the other wires to compare it. And you can see it's about the same value, 27. So we know that uh, it's functional. Okay, so now we're going to slide the boot on. So we're just gonna check the orientation. So. Slowly but surely, it'll go into place. And then we just want to check how far down. So there's about an inch from the end is where uh, we want it. So we'll go ahead and slide it on. Like so. All right, and the trick uh, to getting this all the way down over the wire is you're going to want to stuff a pair of needle nose pliers down as far as you can spread them spread them wide and then hold them open and then you just want to push it down until you can grab uh, the connector and then you're going to hold them tight and pull it until it pops into position and so 
uh, there's only it only comes so far forward because down in there um, uh, the there's uh, the rubber insulator um, um, gets a bit gets smaller and that's where it'll stop and after that you can go ahead and uh, test the resistance again just make sure you get pretty similar value 327 before 